All right, fellas, I'm out in the garage here. Um, it's about noon, and I'm getting ready to run out to the bank and get me something to eat, but I thought I'd uh, jump on here and do a little video pretty quick and let you know where I'm at on this 54 pickup. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I got the body polished out. I got it wet sanded and polished out, and I'm done with it. And I think it just came out killer looking. I, I'm really digging that color. I got the front grill installed with the headlights and the chrome pieces uh on the hood there and in the front and on the side i'm gonna tell you what those pieces were a chore for me uh anytime i've got to glue small pieces like that onto a freshly painted body it just scares me and uh i think i, I got lucky with those uh i think they came out okay uh i might put a let me get a pointer here um it says forward right up there on on those side pieces uh but it's it's real light uh not much detail at all but I'm, i might do a little black black washing on that and i need to do some black washing on this grill too i think it just looks too shiny up there for me uh i i've got a rolling chassis here i got that 312 y block installed i uh, got the drive shaft cut down to fit and got it all painted up this morning um i did put you can see the fuel pump there with the with the line going up to the to the carb. I don't know if I'm gonna do much more detailing up here or not. Uh, that may be about it for me. Uh, I got the custom exhaust put in first time for me. Uh, I ended up using this solder of mine that I've got. I think that mic'd out around 112 thousandths if I if memory serves me correct. But uh, the uh, the uh, mufflers and the tailpipes those actually came out of the Ravel uh 56 Ford pickup the Foose edition and then I uh I cut the fronts of them off right right up the muffler I cut the front of them off right there and then I used uh my solder to to uh run the uh pipes up to the manifold and I think it came out all right I'll flip her over here I think it came out pretty good I'm I'm happy with it so I like how it came out. <clears throat> I'm getting there. Uh, <laughs> I've got another issue here. Boy, I'll tell you what. Look at this. <clears throat> I'm looking at the glass. You can see the front and the rear glass. Right there is the front. There's the rear. It has a molded piece on it that's, I'm assuming, supposed to emulate the rubber seal. And boy, I'll tell you what. That's gonna be a chore to try and paint that i don't know what i'm gonna do i might uh maybe cover that with uh bare metal foil and and cut that out and try and paint it i don't know but the uh the side glass here um it has the wing windows on it so i might try and bare metal foil those i just don't know yet but these these the windshield in the back glass always scares me when you have to paint around that i'm, I'm the worst at that uh and I always seem to not get it to my liking, so I don't know. I'm not sure. You guys got any comments on how to paint that? You can see that. that It's hard to focus. You can see that piece that goes all the way around. That's going to have to be painted uh, a rubber black. So you guys got a good idea on how to do that. Let me know. Because, uh, man, I tell you, it just scares me every time I get to something like that. Uh, but anyway, fellas... Uh, I still have to do the bed yet, and I'm undecided. I came up, I do have some of this folk art. That is called, uh, the bottle on the right is called a raw lumber. And then the uh, one on the left is called barn wood. So I thought maybe, let me tip them over here. You can see the color. I thought maybe the one on the right, the darker one, lay that down first. And then uh, maybe with that light color one, do just a gentle dry brushing I don't know. Uh, I want to. I want to get it dark. I did a bed before. Uh, can't remember what the heck it was on. Oh, it was on my thirty-seven Ford pickup, I think. And it just came out too light. And I think what I did. Well, I can't remember. I'm not even going to get into that. I can't remember. But I want to. I want to keep it kind of dark. So, uh, uh, like I said, I may uh, lay down the base coat with that dark one on the right, and then come back and dry brush with that light one. Uh, I don't know, maybe mix in a little clear orange or something here, here and there to highlight it a little bit. Don't know. Anyway, fellas, uh, just thought I'd jump on here and give an update on the, on the 50, 
Ford pickup. It's beginning to look a little bit more like a truck. I'm digging it. All right, fellas, I'm done. I'm out of here.